right, so now this one, to simplify this, there's two things. First, we have to remember that when there isn't a number written down, that it's a two. So we're gonna deal with two things, but the first step in this process is to separate this. So I'm gonna say the second root of 288 times the second root of n cubed, okay? So then I think to myself, is there a number that I, if I square it, it divides evenly into 288? Now you may not realize this, but isn't 12 squared equal to 144? Yeah. Isn't 144 times two equal to um, 288? Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to split this up even more. Also, if I say n to the third power, isn't that equal to n squared times n to the first power? Yeah. Yeah. So over here, I'm going to split this up into the square root of 144 times the square root of 2 and we'll put our little 2's here uh, times the square root of n squared and then the square root of n. So now the square root of 144 is 12 so I just write down 12 root 2 times now remember, what happens when I take the square root of a square? Cancels out and I'm just left with n, right? And then over here I still have the square root of n. Now there's a couple ways we can handle this. Uh, 12 and n are outside of the radical, so we could toss those together in the front, 12n. And then if I want to, I could put the 2 and the n back under the square root if I want, right? Yeah. Now the question is, is that one of the solutions? Yeah. B, right? 12n times the square root of 2. See how I did that? So I'll post that. 